Welcome Gemini's. It's the first half of October heart spread using the Gilded Terra Royale. In the bright hot sun of Cancun, testing the limits of my epidural strength. <laughs> Uh, I won't be out here long. So this is a reading for who's in your heart, really. Um, simple as that. Not necessarily the one you're with. It's the one who's on your mind, the one that's in your heart. Um, it might be the same, might not. No judgment. Nice. Um, so I'll look at you and your person here. And kind of look at first house, seventh house energy is the stronger too. Let's keep that in mind. This is a... The other person here is kind of the anima animus projection or seventh house energy. And then we'll kind of see how you guys are interacting together and get some advice on that. And then get some advice from spirit on the relationship as a whole. And then a out, likely outcome for the relationship. You know? Always free will. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, Gemini. And if I do, call out other uh, signs as we read. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus might not be a sun person I speak of, maybe a uh, moon. I think in my relationship, um, her moon is so important. And it's like, uh, when I think back to readings, they were mentioning that too. It's like, you know, so it's not, not always the sun that's the main thing. But it's relationships. And it's about relationships. So it's uh, Venus and Mars. Woman's Venus to the man's Mars, most important. It's astrology.com as a simple... Uh, program for that just put in your mars and theirs okay spirit name light love so it serves the greatest good help us here with this uh, relationship i don't want to just describe your relationship i want to really get some help put it into as much perspective as we can look at that three of swords so if this is your reading here gemini you're obviously expressing three of swords energy because this is you kind of where you're at in general and I try to look at uh, um, just kind of your energy detached from this other person. You're thinking of the other one that's on your heart. And so I don't think this is about them. So you're still holding on then to, I mean, we'll just look at it, uh, the Three of Swords energy. So it's still on your mind. I don't I see this as you being physically having, if you're cross-watching or, or not, like still involved with their ex. Uh, it just hasn't had closure in somehow. So you would be bringing that into the relationship one way or another. And your person's coming up as a nine of pentacles. Now, three of swords is pretty much a terrible way to go into a relationship. It's not uncommon, <laughs> you know, uh, how often, because when you're hurt and you open up and somebody comes in to console you, you have a relationship. So um, could be the case here. This could be an earth sign. The most important thing about this is someone who's self-contained. Uh, they're, you know... They, they can take care of themselves even financially, uh, physically. Um, they don't um, need anyone. It's not the kind of person you see on a dating site either, you know. So however they came to you, it probably wasn't that way. Um, and they, <clears throat> it kind of gives me the energy of a friend uh, more than a romance here. Hold on, it's pretty hot. My secret is I have to have uh, copious amounts of lime and stevia. And ice to survive the harsh uh, Cancun weather. Actually, it's been pretty spectacularly nice. So it's an interesting dynamic. Um, if it was a friend, it would literally be the kind of friend with a really nice house, and you're just kind of like, look, I'm taking like two weeks off, and I kind of just come stay with you on your, your beach house or mountain chalet, and they'd be like, sure, come on, you know. So if it's romantic, be like that too. And you're going <laughs> you're all drawn to them so this is kind of making sense that they would be the one that has they're the charlie harper not not necessarily say a player it's kind of this is not a player nine of pentacles we call that the not a player card at all um it almost seems more like it'd be a solid friend type chip energy except for this this is passion so this is a uh, whatever whoever you consider a partner <laughs> leave it like that male female female male <laughs> Uh, but you're feeling it, and you're moving towards this person uh, who it appears to be like waiting for you very graciously. Actually, it, also with the energy, but it's not someone who waits, you know. They literally do not wait. You will never see them like just waiting for something, you know. 
even if they are waiting, you, you won't, they won't really be waiting. You know? That's self-containment right there. And they're meeting you with the two of wands. Wow, I'm going to clarify that, guys. Uh, because it could go a couple different ways. This is the energy of where they're at towards you. And you're obviously all in where you're at towards them with the eight of wands. It's like, I'm all in, I'm coming, um, you know, leave a light on for me. Now I'm clarifying this with the ace of swords. Wow, they've got some kind of decision to make. Look how different these cards are. And uh, I would bet you even uh, the decision could be uh, involving two air signs because if you're Gemini um, then, and they're an air sign, I just got a feeling about that. Um, you need to have, and you know, note that the dove is there in this one too. It's not as harsh of an ace of swords, but you really need to have a talk with them before you get your plane ticket. It's like this very simple. Have a talk with them before you get the plane ticket and make sure they're on board. They're not going to lie to you. You know, but just make sure that that's a wrap, okay? Because there's something they got to do. I mean, it just happened, you know. I'm not saying they're even, maybe they're telling you about this. Maybe they're not, you know. Uh, they were dating somebody, and they're letting them know, um, I'm having to cut you out because I have this new person coming that I'm in love with. And they're making that choice and they're taking an action. Two of Wands is the original energy towards you. And so it's literally like, I'm coming. I'm getting a plane ticket, and I'm coming. And they're like, oh crap, I need to go tell my uh, person that they're now my ex before they get here. Could be a little bit like that, you know. Um, and they would have been in a relationship that was kind of like they had their house and this person had their house and their other person had their, I don't see them, not pickles, they were single, you know. Uh, dating type of energy, but they're putting that to rest, that's my feeling. And you're being... Uh, given from spirit the advice become the queen of cups in relation to this person so um, that's to me coming as advice from spirit towards your person that's telling you that you can really relax you can open yourself emotionally you can sort of recognize that you are queen you're very emotional Gemini um, you know a lot of times you say Gemini is not emotional well uh, what's next door cancer it's like the cancer moon here all emotional so you, you get a Gemini that has happened to have rising or moon in Cancer or any water sign and then throw in Cancer Mars, Cancer Venus, Cancer Mercury, who knows, and you get someone that's very emotional. And you might not want to be emotional because and open and vulnerable because of this is still all over you. So Spirit is saying now's your chance. It's like they're giving you this person, this kind of soft landing, so you can become the Queen of Cups here. Uh, very strong and emotionally open and vulnerable and available individual that can truly have a relationship. You know, this is a mature person, steady person. It's not a player, not someone that was, would would uh, be taken, allow themselves to be taken lightly. Nine of Pentacles. So, um, not that I see that uh, happening. Seem to be responding quite well. And look at them. Their response to you is the Nine of Cups. I mean, they're coming in with the Nine of Pentacles, and this is the advice from Spirit. You know, for some reason, um, they really need to be self-contained. And I'm going to tell you, and it's not a bad thing, uh, they might have an Aquarius moon, Cancer moon, uh, I get. And um, so as your queen is facing right towards their Nine of Cups, and this could literally be like you're all dressed out to go and have this romantic dinner and they're taking you to darts with their buddies. And uh, this is Gemini energy though. I mean, getting out and doing things and that kind of thing. Um, but I see them as being all kinds. You're going to be like kind of throwing yourself at them. And, it, and right now I don't see that there's anything bad here. It's just they're very self-contained. So don't freak out. I'm interested to see what our next card is. It's going to be advice for relationship as a whole. Tell me everything. Um, but, like, I wouldn't freak out, you know, and let this trigger you or anything. Because here you are opening yourself and being vulnerable. And this is kind of them maybe, maybe or maybe not opening and being vulnerable. I can't really tell. Um, almost kind of neutral. 
it's kind of like, oh yeah, it must have been really hard, oh my god, you know, but not really emoting, um, you know, and not saying that's a bad thing, maybe they're just that, they have that kind of self-containment, no, this is a go, guys, advice from spirit for relationship as a whole is this is the world, this is going to be a situation of opposites, the world is coming between you, the queen of cups, you're emotionally really throwing yourself, really open yourself, but also being strong in yourself too, and being very sincere about it, you're being a queen energy and coming to them. Um, and they're holding out kind of in this self-contained energy. I mean, in every way, it's like they're basically telling you energetically, I don't need you. I don't need you, Gemini. I don't need anyone. And it's not really a bad thing because they still want you in their life. And maybe you get the feeling you haven't dealt with this before. And it's a little weird, like that cancer energy and stuff. If that's what's going on, it's cancer moon. You need somebody to need you. And it's kind of like, whoa, why would you love me so much if you completely and totally don't really need me in your life, you know? And they would just say something very Aquarian. <laughs> well, what do you mean? I want you in my life. <laughs> Isn't that better than needing you? That's kind of animalistic, you know? I'm making a conscious decision with my frontal lobe that I want you in my life and i think that's what's going on here um, but the outcome with the world it's like a reassurance here that uh, for both of you it's going to be a, a way of leveling up you know likely they'll open up a little bit themselves become a little vulnerable because you're coming in strong and open when you're the queen of cups and you open to someone and then they really don't respond that well to you you don't shrivel all up and go, well, fuck you, I'm never going to open myself to you again. You're just cool, and you keep being the Queen of Cups. And eventually, uh, they're around you, um, they're going to just soften and open up themselves. It's an energy process, it doesn't even take words or anything. And that's what the world's showing. I think when you guys finish and work together, uh, it's just going to absolutely be amazing here. Um, and now for the outcome card, um, the Eight of Pentacles. It's going to take some work. That's what your relationship's going to be about. It could be you're getting the world because you may actually work together in some way. If you don't actually work together in some way, and this is one of the best, most positive cards in the deck. I wouldn't let it throw me. Your person's going to love it here, Gemini. A very solid person. You're going to be moving into a very solid relationship. You're going to be leveling up big time with the world energy down here supporting this, guys. And you're being able to do really good work together and feeling solid together. Um, I just, if, if you don't actually work together, it, the way that you interact, you know, uh, actually supports your career and allows you to do more. It's counterintuitive. You say, well, you know, he's like, well, I got to either focus on my co uh, career or I got to focus on a relationship because, you know, a relationship could take away from the career. Well, this could be like a relationship that somehow uh, is greater than the sum of its parts in a way that makes it easier uh, for you to focus on your career. And maybe uh, to them as well. And I think that's probably really important for them uh, is the energy I would get. So thank you guys. Give me a like, a thumbs up, all that stuff. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Please do subscribe. Thank you guys.